This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at advanced color correction inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the Broadcast Safe filter. As we look at the waveform monitor, notice that my white levels are over 100%. Okay, great. So I select this. How do I get them under control? Well, you can go to the color board, go to exposure, pull the white levels down. Ta-da! Perfect. Except, what happens if I now want to go through and I need to boost him, and make him a little bit brighter and pull him down, and all of a sudden my black levels are out of control and my white levels are out of control? Well, there's a solution to this, and the solution is a special filter called the Broadcast Safe Filter. We'll just click on the Effects Browser, go down to Safe. There's the Broadcast Safe. Watch my white levels when I drag this on they're now clamped. The good news is it works great. The bad news is, is that if I go back into the inspector, notice that the broadcast safe filter is applied before the color corrector. This means that first I clamp my white levels, then when I go to the color board and pull the exposures up, my white levels are out of control again. This is exactly backwards. <sighs> Now in Final Cut 7, it was correct. In Final Cut 10, Apple wired it backwards. So here's how you get around it. The Broadcast Safe filter works, but you don't apply it to the clip. You select the clip, go up to the File menu, go down to New, Compound Clip. A compound clip is a clip that contains clips. So we're just gonna leave it named Mass Clips. You could call it Fred. And now I've got this icon for the compound clip, select the compound clip, drag the broadcast safe filter on top. Notice that now my whites are exactly at 100%, my blacks are right at zero. To change the content of the compound clip, double click it. This steps you inside the compound clip, the stripes here that you see. That's an indication you're inside a compound clip. Select the clip, go to the color board, and raise your white levels as much as you want, raise your midtones as much as you want, give yourself the look that you need, and we'll just add a little bit of color here. That's pretty ugly. Let's leave that alone. Let's pull our mids down and over. There we go. That's gooder. And then when I step back by clicking this go back button right there, now I'm back in the compound clip, and even though I made all those adjustments, my white levels and black levels are still exactly where they need to be. You always want to put your broadcast safe filter inside a compound clip. This is a important concept here. Notice that my white levels go right to 100%. As I grab the white level, it's changing the angle of the entire line so that the relationship between grayscales, until I peak at 110%, the relationship between grayscales, between highlights and mids and shadows, the relation of all those remains the same because I'm changing the angle of the entire line. If, on the other hand, I select this clip, turn it into a compound clip, and apply the broadcast safe filter. Watch the top end of that waveform in two, one, woof. Notice the broadcast safe filter clamps the white levels. It squishes them down. The broadcast safe filter means that all that textural detail, all that highlight detail, the fineness and say white lace, is gonna get squished to 100%. It guarantees that my white levels don't exceed 100%, but I lose the texture and it becomes blob-like. So if you are interested in retaining highlight texture, you want to adjust the highlights in the exposure control of the color board. If, on the other hand, you just simply want to make sure that none of your speculars pop over 100%, then you want to create a compound clip and apply the Broadcast Safe Filter to the compound clip. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at advanced color correction tools inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 141. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. 
you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.